What's going on everybody? So in today's episode, we're gonna do a quick video on how to make a $10 DIY smoke tester to check for vacuum leaks, so stick around. All right, so to make this DIY smoke tester that normally costs like $800 for a professional one, or even going to a dealership or, or a mechanic, they'll tr probably charge you about like $100 for diagnostic. All you need is a glass jar or a metal can, something that won't burn. Uh, and then also you just need about $5 worth of hose. This one in particular is a 3 8 inch inner diameter. And this is about five to six dollars at like Home Depot or your hardware store. Second thing you want is a really cheap uh, soldering iron. Uh, we got this one from Harbor Freight. We'll go ahead and we'll leave the links uh, down in the description so you can find these really easy. Quick five dollar uh, soldering iron and then two pens. Uh, we're just going to take the caps and we're just going to kind of like chop them where we need to. Maybe some super glue or silicone or anything like that. Some sort of glue. Not like a glue gun or anything like that since those are really uh, sensitive to heat. You're also going to need baby oil uh, which is basically mineral oils you get that from like a dollar store or grocery store or whatever and you're also going to want some rags that we're going to use as a wick and essentially what we do is we take a drill and we're going to drill out three holes two for our inlet and our outlet which is where the pen body caps are going to go and then one larger hole to fit your uh, soldering iron through. And then once you glue those into place, you're gonna pour mineral oil, not too much, since you kind of want it to burn a little bit, but you want whatever rag, dirty sock, or whatever like that in here to fully soak and absorb the uh, mineral oil. You're gonna put those in there together, let it soak for about a few hours or whatever like that until it's really absorbed all the mineral oil. And then you're gonna go ahead and stick your soldering iron in just like this, and you can already see it starting to smoke up, all right? And then once it's all smoking and the chamber is, is full of smoke, generally what you want to do is you want to put either like a bicycle pump or in our case, all we really have right now is a, a tire pump. And once it starts smoking, we're going to go ahead and put our air here. It's going to blow air. It's going to go through the tube into our engine. And we went and just pulled a, a random vacuum line. And you're going to want to also open the throttle while this is happening. Air is going to blow through the entire system. And if you have a leak, it'll come out and it'll show itself. So for example, if this was leaking, you'll start to see smoke coming out of here and wherever else. And this is a really, really easy way to check for vacuum leaks, which is generally an easy fix for a lot of problems. Uh, since these hoses, they tend to crack really easy with age. And especially if you're a turbo, since the whole idea is on boost and vacuum, you wanna make sure that everything is nice and solid and there's no leaks anywhere that can cause any problems with boost or anything like that. So this is heating up pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how it looks like when you start to blow the air and the smoke through the engine. And we're gonna go ahead and ch check this car for any vacuum leaks. So I don't know if you guys uh, can see that. So we just kind of ran some smoke through the system and you can, we can already kind of see where there's smoke coming out of here and smoke coming out of the air box, which is good in our case since we know our air box isn't fully sealed, but that's what would happen is smoke would kind of come out of pretty much where you have a leak in your system. So the good news is it doesn't seem to be a leak anywhere else within our engine, but just for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and pull out a hose and create our own vacuum leak and just kind of show you an example of what would happen if you actually did have a leak somewhere in your system. Anyway, we have a leak for sure now. So. That was probably a dumb place to try to create a vacuum leak. I probably just could have pulled this hose off, but all for the sake of science, right? So you probably saw that there was smoke coming out of here when we do put the air up. And that's essentially how you would know if you have a vacuum leak is that obviously the smoke comes out of that. I hope that was uh, real quick and informative and a really good way to save a bunch of money on just testing uh, for any vacuum leaks in your system. Stick around for the next one.